Number 10, Jessica Simpson. She skyrocketed to fame in 1999 with the release of her debut album Sweet Kisses, followed by Irresistible in 2001 and five more studio albums. The singer, actress and author has also been very outspoken about her personal life, including her plastic surgery disasters. She told Glamour in 2006 that she hated her lip injections. Quote, I had that Rusty Lane stuff. It looked so fake to me. I didn't like that but it went away in like four months. But lip injections were not the only thing which didn't work out for her. In her 2020 memoir, Open Book, she also revealed that she had two tummy tucks in 2015, and the second one was riddled with complications. Quote, I got an infection, colitis, and I was vomiting so much I thought I was going to bust my sutures. She had to spend nine days in hospital and narrowly avoided needing a blood transplant. It was sad because all she wanted to do was get rid of the stretch marks and loose skin that was left from her two back-to-back -back pregnancies. Looking back on the surgery, she claims that she did it because she wasn't strong enough to handle her insecurities and feels much more proud of her body now. Number nine, Khloe Kardashian. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all the sisters. But over the years, fans have seen such a drastic change in her appearance that can only be put down to excessive plastic surgery. And while the reality star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she's done injections, but not really Botox, because when she tried it, her face didn't really respond well. But all the surgery was probably because of something deep. In fact, later in the episode, Chloe explained about how she experienced body image insecurity when doing photo shoots with her two sisters, Kim and Courtney. Quote, we did so many photo shoots and they would receive racks and racks of clothes. And I was told by so many different stylists, I was given about two or three pieces of clothing. But not to worry because I would be in the background anyway. Yikes. Number eight, Heidi Montag. The Hill star has had some really, really drastic surgery done and famously underwent 10 procedures in one day. It sounds crazy when you think about how difficult that would be to recover from, considering it was all done at the same time. Heidi had the massive surgery day in late 2009, which included breast implants, making her an F cup, a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs and a butt augmentation. The drastic photos of her new appearance hit the headlines in March of 2010, and the world was more than a little bit shocked. But three years later, Heidi admitted to US Magazine that she actually had big regrets and health problems as a result. I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you. She also said at the time, she wasn't fully aware of the recovery time and the mental strain that it would put on her, and she claims her surgeon left this out on purpose. She went on to have some of the work reversed, but most mostly maintains her current look. Number seven, Courtney Cox. If you take a look at the photos of the friend star from back in the 90s and compare it to now, it's easy to see that she has undergone a whole range of different procedures. But unlike most celebrities, Courtney Cox has been completely open about the cosmetic procedures that she's had done to her face. The 58 year old star confessed even though she thought she had undergone far too much at one point, looking completely unrecognizable. When she was asked about her fillers, she said, quote, you have no idea because it's gradual until you go, oh, this doesn't look right, and it's worse in pictures than in real life. Telling New Beauty magazine in 2017 that she gradually realized fillers were not her friend. Courtney explained that she gradually became addicted to surgery and was taking advice from the wrong people. Quote, well, what would end up happening is that you would go to a doctor who would say, you look great, but what would help is a little injection here or filler there. And she said she didn't realize how she looked until her friend looked at her face and said, Whoa, no more. Number six, John Travolta. He's been a total heartthrob since the 1970s with his breakout role in Grease. Some of his most famous work includes Get Shorty, Saturday Night Fever, and Pulp Fiction. Not to mention the fact that he's also a pilot and has even built his own landing strip at one of his tropical properties. But the 68 year old's face has definitely evolved over the years. And to this day, he continues to go under the knife, all to try and maintain his youthful appearance. But although Travolta has never 
Shiva admitted to having plastic surgery, the actor surprised fans with what looked like the aftermath of too much plastic surgery after appearing in the series The People vs OJ Simpson. In fact, fans were convinced that Travolta had some work done to his face and it all went wrong. But he has not commented on the speculations. So what's the real deal? Well, no one truly knows what he has or hasn't had done or why he looks so different, but many fans have commented on his frozen face and saying that he has taken a surgery a little too far. But let's not forget actors do have a heavy pressure to maintain their looks and appear perfect all the time. Number 5. Vicky Gunvalson The Real Housewives of Orange County star has never been shy about the multiple facial procedures she's gotten over the years. In July 2018, Gunvalson told US Weekly that the eyelid blepharoplasty and facelift she had just gotten would be her last procedures. She also opened up about the various fillers that she had gotten done and admitted that it made her look drastically different. I had a lot of fillers in my face and I didn't feel like it was me anymore. I had too many doctors, too many different times say, let's do this, let's do that, let's fill here. Vicky said that by the time she was done, she looked in the mirror and realized that she no longer looked anything like herself. But what's really upsetting is that she admitted that being called Miss Piggy by her co-star Slade Smiley was what really led her to get all the plastic surgery, which also included a nose job and a chin implant. She confessed in 2012 that she's always felt like she wasn't pretty enough, and that although she's taken a year to fully heal from the procedures, it didn't change her on the inside. Number 4. Cardi B the singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past. The singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past and things she has gotten done that bordered on the dangerous. So after she welcomed her daughter Culture in July of 2018, she revealed that she has gotten a breast lift and liposuction. Although she did receive a huge amount of criticism from fans, she decided to defend her decision on Instagram Live. Quote, listen, I do whatever the F I want to do with my body. I don't have the time of day like you do. My job as an entertainer is a 24 hour job. She went on to say that she simply doesn't have the time to work out and there were specific things about herself that would not change no matter how hard she hit the gym. Quote, like my boobs, no matter how much I work out, they were not going to lift themselves. People were upset that a celebrity of her stature said that she didn't have as much time on her hands as regular people. But the honesty was refreshing. But she was forced to cancel several shows due to health complications from surgery. In fact, Cardi revealed that she had once gotten illegal butt injections and realized how risky it was when looking back on it. Number 3. Sharon Osbourne The former The Talk panelist is no stranger to plastic surgery, and it really seemed to work out for her over the years, considering her appearance was never really altered too drastically. But all that changed in late 2021, when she got a facelift that, in her own words, ended up making her look like a cyclops. Quote, I had a full facelift done in October, and I looked like one of those effing mummies that they wrap with bandages. She told the Sunday Times that the whole thing hurt like hell, but what was even worse is that the pain never really paid off. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. And she even told the surgeon, quote, you've got to be effing joking. One of my eyes was different than the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. All I need is a hunchback. It sounds funny, but it would have been a nightmare. Even her husband, Ozzy Osbourne, was totally against the results. Fortunately, she was able to undergo reconstructive work and she's now a lot more satisfied with her appearance. Number 2. Linda Evangelista The Canadian fashion model was undoubtedly one of the top supermodels from the 90s and is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all times. In fact, she's been featured on over 700 magazine covers. But Linda hasn't really been in the public very much in the last five years or so, and fans recently found out why. In September last year, she took to Instagram and revealed that she had undergone a cool sculpting treatment to her face, which she says left her unrecognizable, as it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. Quote, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured. She went on to say that the procedure actually did the opposite of what it was promised. 
In fact, what happened to her was a rare but serious side effect of cool sculpting, and the model said the treatment not only destroyed her livelihood, but sent her into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. Which is extremely sad when you consider just how much it would have affected her self-esteem. Number 1. Donatella Versace We all know Donatella Versace as a fashion designer and the vice president of one of the best known Italian fashion houses. But there's also something else that even people who aren't interested in fashion know her for. She's a huge fan of plastic surgery. And yes, she tops the list because of how far she went with her various procedures. It's possible that the 67 year old first went under the knife just to enhance what nature gave her. If you look at her old photos, it's pretty obvious that her face has undergone a lot of changes. Many people believe that she underwent too many of those plastic surgery procedures, possibly to correct the mistakes in each of those previous surgeries. There's been speculation that her facelift has been done to an extreme, pointing out the fact that she does seem to have a bit of a frozen look and is unable to make different facial expressions. She allegedly had lip augmentation, cheek implants, liposuction, and various other procedures. Conclusively, many have referred to Donatella as a very extreme example of plastic surgery because there's nothing subtle about the work she's had done. But the truth is, it probably had a lot to do with societal expectations and the pressure to maintain the image of her brand Versace. Coming at number 10, we have Leah Michelle. Back in December, Leah Michelle started to go trending on Twitter after the internet started to troll her for her new chiseled facial appearance. When the funny girl actress posted a selfie comparing herself to Lucia, the beautiful working girl on the White Lotus, the internet was then quick to notice her resemblance to another trending character, which is a girl who has undergone buckle fat removal. The cosmetic procedure involves surgically removing fat between the cheekbones and the jawbones via incisions inside the mouth to highlight one's facial bone structure. While people have been doing the surgery for decades, it's currently all the rage with young celebrities and people on TikTok. It takes a normal looking girl and makes them look almost skeletal, which is pretty damaging to a younger person's image. While the surgery isn't everybody's cup of tea, I still don't understand why Hollywood girlies aren't trying to get rid of it and why they keep opting to do it, and it kind of made Leah Michelle look more scary than her Rachel Berry days on Glee. Number 9, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian has been pretty open about her physical transformation. And unlike her other sisters, she claimed that she has undergone plastic surgery more than once in her life. While the reality TV star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to undergo the night. In a reunion episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Khloe revealed that she opted for a few cosmetic alterations by saying, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had a third face transplant, but I've had one nose job. Aside from her nose job, the Good American founder has also revealed she has done injections, but not really Botox because she responded horribly Botox. Chloe, like Kylie, has also gotten so much filler done at one point. She even went back three times to get it dissolved, but it still feels like the effects are still there. But for a while, the star did look a little scary with all that filler. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number 8, we have Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley was a legendary beauty, but when she underwent plastic surgery in the past, it left her with some unfortunate side effects. It would force her to come out and claim that she unknowingly had industrial low grade silicone injected into her face by a doctor who wasn't even licensed to practice medicine in the United States. Priscilla was one of many victims who fell into the hands of Dr. Daniel Saranoez in 2008, a rep of the actress would share that an investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Miss Presley dealt with this matter years ago and eventually everything is now well. Serrano, who was not licensed to practice medicine, would find himself being deported back to Argentina after serving 18 months in federal prison. After some of his injections caused lumps, paralysis, and holes in his client's face. But the work he did to Priscilla definitely had her wishing that she never underwent the surgery, and she never even tried to have a repair it as she was kind of scared it would do more harm than good. Number seven, Janice Dickinson. It's clear that Hollywood's obsession with plastic surgery is starting to get really scary. 
scary. And if you look what happened to Janice Dickinson, after she made an attempt to keep her youthful appearance, people would even start to confuse her with Caitlyn Jenner. After she had a botched procedure done, even according to celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Anthony Yoon, Janice had every plastic surgery procedure there is. And that's not really hard to believe as once the stunning model now looks like she is pure plastic. And I've seen her undergo some treatments on reality TV. Dr. Yoon would then jokingly add, I believe she's undergone pretty much every facial plastic surgery there is, including a facelift, eye lift, lip injections, Botox, fat injections, a brow lift, and she's probably singly handedly paid for her plastic surgeon's house. Despite Janice going under the knife numerous times, Yoon said, while Janice doesn't look a whole lot like herself, she's holding up pretty well, and she's had quite a bit of help. In 2014, Janice would even admit when she was 32 or in the Jurassic era. That's when she had her first procedure done and it included work to her chest, a tummy tuck, facelift, and Botox. At number six, we have Linda Evangelista. The OG supermodel hasn't been seen in public for a while now and in September 23rd, 2021, she would explain why. Linda revealed that she underwent cool sculpting, which she claims left her looking unrecognizable as it allegedly caused her fat cells in her face to multiply and she would say to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured by a procedure which did the opposite of what it promised. She then went on to talk about the procedure's rare but serious side effects and she said not only did it destroy my livelihood but it sent me into a cycle of depression, profound sadness and lowest depths of self-loathing. In the process, I have become reclusive and I'm so tired of living this way. I would like to walk out my door with my head held high despite not looking like myself any longer. However, if you look at photos from Linda from 2005 to now, for her procedure, disfigured her famous face, the girl is stunning. And if you were looking to get plastic surgery done in the future, let this be a warning and just a reminder that you're beautiful just the way you look. Number five, Mickey Rourke. Since the beginning of his career, Mickey Rourke has captured the news headlines every now and then, and one of the most talked about things about him is his face. Today, everyone knows Mickey to be an actor of repute who has starred in many successful movies over the years, but it is essential to understand that acting was not Mickey's first love as he's a man who was in love with boxing and he eventually became a professional boxer. And he did pretty well because he was unbeaten in all his fights as he won and drew others. However, he endured a lot of injuries to his face and some of these injuries were so severe that they threatened to ruin his good looks, so he opted to have cosmetic surgery to fix his face. However, the doctors he met to help him fix his face just ended up ruining it. His face today is now very different from what his fans had known it to be, and anytime he steps into the public, paparazzi just swarms his face. While the star has undergone different cosmetic surgeries to correct his face, it just keeps changing and it keeps renewing the public's interest. Number four, Joan Rivers, comedian Joan Rivers was famous for constantly changing her face. When the reality TV star passed away at the age of 81, her daughter Melissa would write a memoir, The Book of Joan, Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. As a tribute to her mother, in it, Melissa would reveal that Joan had a staggering 348 cosmetic operations over her life and she was never happy with the way she looked, which fed into her sense of being less than. Joan Rivers' tragic passing was caused after she had complications following her surgery after the comedian never recovered from a loss of oxygen to her brain during surgery. Her daughter would then be able to sue the clinic for malpractice. It would be noted that Joan went into the hospital after she scheduled an EGD. However, reports then showed another procedure, a nasolaryngoscopy, which was performed twice by an ENT doctor not privileged to perform that procedure at Yorkville. And Rivers was never informed or consented to that procedure. Number three, Donatella Versace. Donatella Versace's designs for Versace may have sparked thousands of copycats, but there is no danger of a woman following suit when it comes to Donatella Versace's new look. 30 years ago, the fashion guru had naturally full lips and smooth skin, but today her face is striking for all the wrong reasons as she has now turned herself into a real life human waxworth doll after she overdid Botox and added too much filler to her cheeks and lips. Not to mention the businesswoman has also had a facelift and eyes and brow lift. And if you look at her face, you can tell that her eyelids are like a little droopy because she had some bad Botox and that's why they look 
droopy. It's also been said that she looks like she may have had some filler added to her earlobes as they looked very stretched. Dr. David Rappaport has also provided a timeline of Donatella's alleged procedures where he would point out that it seems clear that the designer has had a facelift as she has a scar that you can see on her temple areas. And she has a fine linear scar from it. He would also note that her hairline has been lifted too high and it shouldn't end that high above her ears. But this could also indicate that she's gone under the knife for more than one procedure. Number two. Carrot Top. Comedian King of Props, Scott Carrot Top Thompson, has had to deal with a lot of plastic surgery rumors and before and after surgery photos. But despite the hundreds of sources saying he underwent the knife to change his looks, the comedian says he hasn't had work done on him. But it's clearly just a lie. So, Carrot Top is one of these most successful comedians from the late 90s and 2000s. Aside from comedy, one of the most talked about topics whenever Carrot Top is brought up is about his looks, and people start to debate whether the star has had plastic surgery done or not. Although various sources have tried exploring his transformation, to put an answer to the question, the comedian still continues to deny all the rumors that revolve around him undergoing the knife to change his looks. And to this day, the comedian still has to deal with plastic surgery rumors as the media has been swamped with before and after photos of the star. Many have even compared his transformation to plastic surgery disasters and some professionals have even commented on it, such as Dr. Anthony Yoon, who pointed out that the comedian has definitely had laser treatments or chemical peels, and he even commented on Carrot Top's appearance by saying he looks more like a muscle bound cartoon character. Number one, Little Kim. Little Kim is undoubtedly one of the brightest, most influential women in hip hop, yet her legacy remains controversial for one reason or the other. It seems like the star is constantly being thrown in front of the media since the beginning of her career for her ever changing face. In 2005, Kim would even go on a radio show to explain that she had broken her nose after getting into an altercation with her ex-boyfriend and she had to get surgery done to fix her nose and then she would go back to her boyfriend get hurt again and it would reel her into a tangle of insecurities and self-loathing. Kim was so tired of lying about her injuries and burying her bruises in makeup that she thought it would be better to get professional work done and wipe those physical markings away once and for all. And then after, she would get more surgeries done by her own choice as she was facing insecurities after her boyfriends kept cheating on her with European women with long hair. At number 10, Tara Reid. Hollywood's It Girls Tara Reid was making it big in the industry at the height of her career. That is until she got a botched plastic surgery that derailed her career completely. In 2004, Tara wanted to get some work done to her body and she received a few surgeries. She got breast implants and underwent a procedure called a liposculpting. But this was where where things went horribly wrong. After these procedures, she was left disfigured, describing some of the aftermath, saying, quote, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work, end quote. Things got even worse for her public image after a wardrobe malfunction at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004 exposed her botched body to the world. A lot of people online ended up body shaming the actress, making the situation so much harder for her to deal with at the time. Even though she was able to correct the mistakes done to her appearance two years later, the damage was already done to her public image and career, showing us that not only was her body botched, but her career was as well. At number 8, Jennifer Grey. Imagine investing in plastic surgery to look better, just to watch your career tank after getting whatever procedure done. Well, that's what happened with actress Jennifer Grey, as getting a nose job was the worst mistake of her career and pretty much ended it. Jennifer Grey became super well known after her role in Dirty Dancing, but after her rhinoplasty, things went south for the actress's career. Her appearance wasn't necessarily botched from the surgery itself, as everything went according to plan, but maybe things went a little too well. After getting the surgery, her nose looked very different to how it looked before, and it completely changed her face. As a result, Jennifer found herself struggling to book roles and getting less and less work. Everyone knew her for her face, but since it had changed, became almost unrecognizable, and that wasn't good for her career. When speaking out about her procedure, she called it the quote, nose job from hell, because it 
pretty much botched her career. She thought that altering her nose would make things better for her because she would have had what she thought was a better appearance, but instead things just got worse. At number seven, Dana Delaney. There are a growing number of people up there getting Botox. A lot of young adults are starting to get fillers even though they don't really need to because it's seen as the new trend. Getting injectables seems to be the newest trend probably because it's one of the least invasive plastic surgery procedures you can receive. But just because it's not a serious surgery doesn't mean there's no risk and Desperate Housewives actress Dana Delaney can attest to that. Dana opened up about one of the worst procedures she received and one of people's biggest nightmares, that being Dr. Error. In 2003, Dana decided to go in to receive some Botox injections after her dermatologist convinced her to try it out. When she went in for the procedure, things went horribly wrong after the doctor performing the procedure injected the needle into the wrong place in her forehead and actually ended up causing quite a lot of damage. When he injected it into her forehead, the needle ended up striking a nerve. This then created a huge hematoma in her forehead and actually ended up killing the nerve that was struck. Unfortunately for Dana, this mistake was pretty serious because it ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused her eye to begin to droop down slightly. Dana spoke out about the experience saying, quote, I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. End quote. This procedure marked the first and last time she got any kind of plastic surgery done because she didn't want to risk getting botched again. At number six, Ashley Tisdale. Here's a celebrity whose own body botched their plastic surgery results. Former Disney star Ashley Tisdale is another celebrity who's gone plastic and has experienced health complications as a result of getting work done. When Ashley first got her breast implants, she received the results that she was looking for. Ashley told her fans how before she got them done, she felt really insecure about her body, seeing that she felt as though getting this procedure done would help her feel better about herself. Though this augmentation did help boost her confidence for a while, Ashley said that soon there came a time when the implants started to negatively impact her life and her health, saying quote, little by little I began struggling with minor health issues that were just not adding up. Food sensitivities as well as gut issues that I thought could be caused by my implants, end quote. The actress continued talking about how she made the decision to remove her implants to save herself from her health complications. Even though she walked away from the initial procedure with a good result, her health is really what got botched in the process. At number five, Mickey Rourke. For a long time, people have made some pretty harsh comments about Mickey Rourke's face. In his early career, he was praised for his looks, but now, not so much. A lot of people believe that he doesn't look anything like he used to, and a lot of that has to do with his botched plastic surgery having altered his appearance drastically. Mickey has spoken out about his altered appearance, saying that boxing is really what caused things to go downhill for him. Because he went in for reconstructive surgery from things that had been damaged through boxing, his face has never been the same. Speaking further on this, Mickey said, quote, Most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had my nose broken twice, I had five operations on my nose, and one on a smashed cheekbone. End quote. If Mickey had gone to someone else for these procedures, maybe things would have been different and he wouldn't have gotten so botched. At number four, Laura Flynn Boyle. Laura Flynn Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice, but in the early 2000s, her looks started changing drastically specifically her lips. Over time, fans started to notice that her face started to look very unnatural, and as a result of her altered appearance, no one wanted to cast her anymore. Boyle commented before her procedures that she was scared of aging, as she knew that she would lose work, but her botched procedures are what have actually blacklisted her from the industry. In 2010, Paul S. Nassif told the Daily Mail, quote, Laura Flynn Boyle appears to have had a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, Botox, facial fillers, and possibly a brow lift and facelift. End quote. Nassif also said that Lara should refrain from any more procedures. Plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Saulhauser agreed, telling the outlet, quote, Lara Flynn Boyle, I feel has gone overboard with the fillers to her cheeks and lips. End quote. At number three, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now this one actually surprised me a lot because I never actually knew that Jamie Lee Curtis had gone under the knife, but apparently it happened and it wasn't pretty. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking puffy. Well, it turns out that this ended up a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face was messed up. Jamie recalled feeling 
feeling super embarrassed because she had changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, it quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. And finally, at number one, Zac Efron. Now this one isn't exactly a confirmed plastic surgery case, but it sure did cause a lot of commotion over the summer. There had been a lot of speculation concerning Zac Efron's supposed new look, as people started saying that Zac got some work done, and by some, I mean a drastic amount. Zac showed up in a video about Earth Day looking pretty different and very swollen. The lower half of his face was looking very puffy, almost like he had gotten a lot of Botox done or some other kind of procedure, and people were super confused by this sudden transformation. The internet started debating whether or not he'd gotten surgery, with some people chalking this all up to Zac simply getting wisdom tooth surgery, using that to explain all the puffiness, but others weren't too convinced. According to one celebrity plastic surgeon, they thought that it looked like Zach may have gotten fillers to reshape his jawline, or that he had actually gone under the knife and that there was some residual swelling going on. It was all just a very sudden change that a lot of people just weren't expecting. Number 10, Tara Reid. There's no doubt that the American Pie star was one of Hollywood's it girls in the late 90s and early 2000s. But while the actress was at the pinnacle of success in her career, she was also going through various issues stemming from botched plastic surgery, and she ended up missing out on a whole bunch of roles because of it. Tara claimed that in 2004, breast implants and liposuction surgeries left her with disfigurements that damaged her career. She told US Weekly, quote, My stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Tara said that after the procedures, she knew something was wrong when it came to her breast implants, but she was six months post-op when she realized that it had been terribly botched. Quote, the actual center part where the areola is, instead of it being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. She also went through an infamous wardrobe malfunction on the red carpet at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004, which resulted in her body going viral, which left her devastated. Tara said she cried and begged photographers not to release the photos because the last thing she wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. Number nine, Janice Dickinson. She was known as the world's first supermodel and was hugely successful during the 1970s and 80s. Recently, she's been quite the TV star, appearing as a judge on America's Next Top Model, Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2007. The 67-year-old model has never been shy about admitting that she's had plastic surgery and confessed to having a breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts, and liposuction and Botox in the past. Although the various surgeries had really gotten out of hand over the years, and in 2013, she declared herself bankrupt after over $1 million in taxes and unpaid cosmetic bills. Two years later, she appeared on Botched to fix her boob job that was done 30 years before, saying at the time that she was no stranger to plastic surgery. But her perspective really changed in 2013 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. In fact, she initially thought the lump in her breast was a botched boob job, telling Entertainment Tonight, quote, if I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place. But fortunately, the following year, she was declared cancer-free after six weeks of radiation therapy. Number eight, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke was one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. He made his feature film debut with a minor role in Steven Spielberg's 1941 and garnered significant attention with 1981's Body Heat. However, in the early 90s, the actor decided to take up professional boxing. And while that brought him success, it also came with a string of severe facial injuries. Rourke reportedly faced a broken nose twice, suffered toe and rib injuries, a split tongue, a compressed cheekbone, and even short-term memory loss for some time. As a, re as a result, the actor had to undergo several reconstructive surgeries to fix himself up, but most of them did not achieve the desired result, so he had to undergo even more surgery to correct those mistakes. Eventually, Rourke's facial 
features were nearly unrecognizable compared to his initial appearance. In 2009, he finally opened up to the Daily Mail about it. Quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Which is really sad because it was probably just down to having a really sketchy plastic surgeon. Number seven, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla has always been admired for her beauty, but she has undergone multiple plastic surgery procedures in recent years, and some have gone a little bit too far. But this is all down to one tragic procedure in 2003 that should have never been done. The former wife of Elvis Presley was the victim of an unlicensed doctor and was left with botched plastic surgery that changed her looks forever. Dr. Daniel Serrano administered surgery on several Hollywood A-listers, including Lionel Richie, his ex-wife Diane, and Sean King, the late wife of CNN presenter and TV host Larry King. He only charged between three to five hundred dollars and operated on his clients at lavish cocktail parties in Hollywood. But Serrano was only a licensed nurse and when he carried out the procedure, he used industrial grade silicone, which is often used to lubricate car parts. The fake doctor eventually went to prison, and Priscilla has reportedly been undergoing corrective treatments ever since, but her changing face has also been attributed to Presley's alleged extensive history with plastic surgery, which reportedly includes multiple facelifts, laser treatments, as well as lip and cheek fillers. So this is probably why her look has changed so much over the years. Number six, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and soap opera actress Lisa Rinna has been very open about her plastic surgery choices, mainly her decision to plump her lips with injections, which definitely seemed to have gone a little bit too far. Rina had permanent silicone filler injected into her top lip, which she initially loved, but eventually she decided to have it reduced after facing criticism for her appearance. She told People in 2010, quote, I was crazy to even touch them in the first place. In total, she's had four injections, and she explained that in the beginning, it was great, but after about 10 years, the silicone started seeping through her lip and creating scar tissue that was hard and bumpy. She claimed that when she would get photographed, her lips would look a certain way, and then people would start to talk. The TV star said that she even tried cortisone shots to reduce the swelling, but instead of helping it, it actually made them look worse. Quote, I have a doctor to remove as much as they possibly can because it got to the point where they were yucky. You know, they get hard, it's gross. Lisa said that the doctor took out as much silicone as possible and now her lips are somewhat back to normal. Number five, Jennifer Grey. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer's career seemed to stall. And although she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. But Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out as anonymous. She told The Mirror in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell and she'll always be this once famous actress that nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, she was thrilled with the way she looked. Then less than a year later, she noticed that a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose. Jennifer then underwent a second surgery to correct the issue, but when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated, as many people did not believe that she was Jennifer Grey anymore. And she would often have to go to great lengths just to prove that she was in fact who she said she was. Number 4, Kylie Jenner. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has basically grown up in the spotlight, so her transformation from tween to teen and now a 20-something mother has all been before our very eyes. Which means that it's not hard to notice the drastic changes to Kylie's appearance in the more than 10 years since the show first aired in 2007. While fans have speculated about Kylie having undergone everything from lip filler to a Brazilian butt lift, it's hard to separate fact from fiction when it comes to her ever-changing aesthetic. But after years of denying that she had lip filler, the star eventually came clean about that particular cosmetic touch-up. During a 2015 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kylie admits, quote, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. But it's a little bit sad when you look at why she got it done. Quote, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I have really small lips and it was just like one of my first kisses and a guy was like, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because you have such 
small lips. She also admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point before her sisters pointed it out and said, Kylie, you need to chill. They were definitely right to let her know when it was becoming a little too much. Number three, Reed Ewing. The Modern Family actor stars in one of the most successful shows on television. But Reed revealed in a Huffington Post op-ed that he'd been waging a private battle with his looks. He bravely opened up about his battle with body dysmorphia, unhealthy obsession with his physical flaws, and the plastic surgery that he had turned to as a solution. Reed wrote that when he first moved to LA at 19, he would apparently sit alone in his apartment and take photos of himself, and try to analyze every single angle and feature of his face. Quote, after a few years of doing this, one day I decided I had to get cosmetic surgery. No one is allowed to be this ugly, I thought. It's unacceptable. In 2008, he decided to see a plastic surgeon to get the first of many surgeries he would go on to have. He wanted cheek implants and wrote that he genuinely believed if he had one procedure, he would suddenly look like Brad Pitt. But he wished he hadn't because that's where the nightmare began. Quote, after all the swelling finally went down, the results were horrendous. Reed isolated himself from everyone and it took him six months before he was comfortable with people even looking at him. It's extremely upsetting that his battle with body dysmorphia won and it just left him feeling worse about himself after all the surgery. Number two, Joan Van Ark. The actress became famous for her roles on the nighttime soap operas Dallas and Knott's Landing between the late 1970s to early 1990s. And while she was known to be extremely beautiful at the peak of her acting career, Joan's appearance has changed so much over the years due to her extreme addiction to plastic surgery. If you want to know the extent of the procedures, one source who allegedly saw Joan in January 2020 told The Globe that it looked like her face was melting. Now that's pretty harsh to say, but it might just be that bad, considering just how much the 79 year old has reportedly gone under the knife. We're talking about blepharoplasty, cheek and lip fillers, Botox injections, in fact, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yun told the National Enquirer that Van Ark's drastically changed appearance is also due to at least one or two facelifts, which is what caused her neckline and jawline to look tight. But this is all speculation, and everyone knows working in the industry comes with various pressures to stay young. So addiction to cosmetic surgery is unfortunately something that comes with the territory. And coming in at number one, Katie Price. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As a 44 year old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years. And she got the first one when she was only 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She told the son, quote, I had my boobs done in Turkey and they looked deformed. They were absolutely awful. She's also had veneers done and in the and in June last year, Katie endured one of the most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day that she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her bum. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that has left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is definitely synonymous with her brand at this point, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plan to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before. Number 10, Jessica Simpson. She skyrocketed to fame in 1999 with the release of her debut album, Sweet Kisses, followed by Irresistible in 2001 and five more studio albums. The singer, actress, and author has also been very outspoken about her personal life, including her plastic surgery disasters. She told Glamour in 2006 that she hated her lip injections. Quote, I had that Rusty Lane stuff. It looked so so fake to me, I didn't like that. But it went away in like four months. But lip injections were not the only thing which didn't work out for her. In her 2020 memoir, Open Book, she also revealed that she had two tummy tucks in 2015, and the second one was riddled with complications. Quote, I got an infection, colitis, and I was vomiting so much I thought I was going to bust my sutures. She had to spend nine days in hospital and narrowly avoided needing a blood transplant. It was sad because all she wanted to do was get rid of the 
the stretch marks and loose skin that was left from her two back-to-back -back pregnancies. Looking back on the surgery, she claims that she did it because she wasn't strong enough to handle her insecurities and feels much more proud of her body now. Number nine, Heidi Montag. The Hill star has had some really, really drastic surgery done and famously underwent 10 procedures in one day. It sounds crazy when you think about how difficult that would be to recover from, considering it was all done at the same time. Heidi had the massive surgery day in late 2009, which included breast implants, making her an F cup, a brow lift, a nose job, lipo on her stomach and thighs and a butt augmentation. The drastic photos of her new appearance hit the headlines in March of 2010, and the world was more than a little bit shocked. But three years later, Heidi admitted to US Magazine that she actually had big regrets and health problems as a result. I just didn't realize what I was really signing up for. It sounds so minor when you have a surgeon describing so much of it to you. She also said at the time she wasn't fully aware of the recovery time and the mental strain that it would put on her and she claims her surgeon left this out on purpose. She went on to have some of the work reversed but mostly maintains her current look. Number 8. Khloe Kardashian The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is known for being the funniest and most laid back of all the sisters. But over the years, fans have seen such a drastic change in her appearance that can only be put down to excessive plastic surgery. And while the reality star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to go under the knife. Quote, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset. Like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. She also revealed that she's done injections, but not really Botox, because when she tried it, her face didn't really respond well. But all the surgery was probably because of something deeper. In fact, later in the episode, Chloe explained about how she experienced body image insecurity when doing photo shoots with her two sisters, Kim and Courtney. Quote, we did so many photo shoots and they would receive racks and racks of clothes. And I was told by so many different stylists, I was given about two or three pieces of clothing. But not to worry because I would be in the background anyway. Yikes. Number seven, Courtney Cox. If you take a look at the photos of the friend star from back in the 90s and compare it to now, it's easy to see that she has undergone a whole range of different procedures. But unlike most celebrities, Courtney Cox has been completely open about the cosmetic procedures that she's had done to her face. The 58 year old star confessed even though she thought she had undergone far too much at one point, looking completely unrecognizable. When she was asked about her fillers, she said, quote, you have no idea because it's gradual until you go, oh, this doesn't look right, and it's worse in pictures than in real life. Telling you Beauty Magazine in 2017 that she gradually realized fillers were not her friend. Courtney explained that she gradually became addicted to surgery and was taking advice from the wrong people. Quote, well, what would end up happening is that you would go to a doctor who would say, you look great, but what would help is a little injection here or filler there. And she said she didn't realize how she looked until her friend looked at her face and said, whoa, no more. Number six, John Travolta. He's been a total heartthrob since the 1970s with his breakout role in Greece. Some of his most famous work includes Get Shorty, Saturday Night Fever, and Pulp Fiction. Not to mention the fact that he's also a pilot and has even built his own landing strip at one of his tropical properties. But the 68 year old's face has definitely evolved over the years. And to this day, he continues to go under the knife, all to try and maintain his youthful appearance. But although Travolta has never admitted to having plastic surgery, the actor surprised fans with what looked like the aftermath of too much plastic surgery after appearing in the series The People vs. OJ Simpson. In fact, fans were convinced that Travolta had some work done to his face and it all went wrong. But he has not commented on the speculations. So what's the real deal? Well, no one truly knows what he has or hasn't had done or why he looks so different, but many fans have commented on his frozen face and saying that he he has taken a surgery a little too far. But let's not forget, actors do have a heavy pressure to maintain their looks and appear perfect all the time. Number five, Vicky Gunvalson. The Real Housewives of Orange County star has never been shy about the multiple facial procedures she's gotten over the years. In July 2018, Gunvalson told US Weekly that the eyelid blepharoplasty and facelift she had just gotten would be her last procedures. She also opened up about the various 
fillers that she had gotten done and admitted that it made her look drastically different. I had a lot of fillers in my face and I didn't feel like it was me anymore. I had too many doctors, too many different times say, let's do this, let's do that, let's fill here. Vicky said that by the time she was done, she looked in the mirror and realized that she no longer looked anything like herself. But what's really upsetting is that she admitted that being called Miss Piggy by her co-star Slade Smiley was what really led her to get all the plastic surgery, which also included a nose job and a chin implant. She confessed in 2012 that she's always felt like she wasn't pretty enough and that although she's taken a year to fully heal from the procedures, it didn't change her on the inside. Number four, Cardi B. The singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past. The singer is super open about a lot of aspects of her personal life, including her plastic surgery past and things she has gotten done that bordered on the dangerous. So after she welcomed her daughter Culture in July of 2018, she revealed that she has gotten a breast lift and liposuction. Although she did receive a huge amount of criticism from fans, she decided to defend her decision on Instagram Live. Quote, listen, I do whatever the F I want to do with my body. I don't have the time of day like you do. My job as an entertainer is a 24 hour job. She went on to say that she simply doesn't have the time to work out and there were specific things about herself that would not change no matter how hard she hit the gym. Quote, like my boobs, no matter how much I work out, they were not going to lift themselves. People were upset that a celebrity of her stature said that she didn't have as much time on her hands as regular people. But the honesty was refreshing. But she was forced to cancel several shows due to health complications from surgery. In fact, Cardi revealed that she had once gotten illegal butt injections and realized how risky it was when looking back on it. Number three, Sharon Osbourne. The former The Talk panelist is no stranger to plastic surgery, and it really seemed to work out for her over the years, considering her appearance was never really altered too drastically. But all that changed in late 2021, when she got a facelift that, in her own words, ended up making her look like a cyclops. Quote, I had a full facelift done in October, and I looked like one of those effing mummies that they wrap with bandages. She told the Sunday Times that the whole thing hurt like hell, but what was even worse is that the pain never really paid off. Sharon said that after the more than five hour surgery, she was left looking horrendous. And she even told the surgeon, quote, you've got to be effing joking. One of my eyes was different than the other. I looked like an effing cyclops. All I need is a hunchback. It sounds funny, but it would have been a nightmare. Even her husband, Ozzy Osbourne, was totally against the results. Fortunately, she was able to undergo reconstructive work and she's now a lot more satisfied with her appearance. Number two, Linda Evangelista. The Canadian fashion model was undoubtedly one of the top supermodels from the 90s and is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all times. In fact, she's been featured on over 700 magazine covers. But Linda hasn't really been in the public very much in the last five years or so, and fans recently found out why. In September last year, she took to Instagram and revealed that she had undergone a cool sculpting treatment to her face, which she says left her unrecognizable, as it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. Quote, to my followers who have wondered why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured. She went on to say that the procedure actually did the opposite of what it was promised. In fact, what happened to her was a rare but serious side effect of cool sculpting. And the model said the treatment not only destroyed her livelihood, but sent her into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. Which is extremely sad when you consider just how much it would have affected her self-esteem. Number one, Donatella Versace. We all know Donatella Versace as a fashion designer and the vice president of one of the best known Italian fashion houses. But there's also something else that even people who aren't interested in fashion know her for. She's a huge fan of plastic surgery. And yes, she tops the list because of how far she went with her various procedures. It's possible that the 67-year-old first went under the knife just to enhance what nature gave her. If you look at her old photos,
photos, it's pretty obvious that her face has undergone a lot of changes. Many people believe that she underwent too many of those plastic surgery procedures, possibly to correct the mistakes in each of those previous surgeries. There's been speculation that her facelift has been done to an extreme, pointing out the fact that she does seem to have a bit of a frozen look and is unable to make different facial expressions. She allegedly had lip augmentation, cheek implants, liposuction, and various other procedures. Conclusively, many have referred to Donatella as a very extreme example of plastic surgery because there's nothing subtle about the work she's had done. But the truth is, it probably had a lot to do with societal expectations and the pressure to maintain the image of her brand Versace. At number 10, Priscilla Caputo. Priscilla Caputo was an aspiring model and she rose to fame for her looks, but probably not in the way that she was expecting. Back in the day, Priscilla was looking to be the next world famous model, but her modeling career was very short lived because she took her looks too far and got botched stopping her career in its tracks. She was left as an internet laughing stock, gaining fame because she had gone too far with her appearance, and now she's an advocate against getting plastic surgery. Priscilla explained to sources that her boyfriend, who was a plastic surgeon, kept giving her lip fillers, and soon after so many sessions with him, she became addicted and couldn't stop. Her lips became too big, and because of her appearance, her modeling career tanked. After her photos were circulated online, she became an internet laughing stock, and she couldn't go back and undo what she had done to her lips because she had injected so much into them that she permanently stretched them out and the damage was too much to repair. At number 8, Farrah Abraham. Teen mom star Farrah Abraham has been pretty open about her cosmetic procedures and has been under the knife a number of times. But it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, but let me tell you how she got into that mess in the first place. In 2015, the reality star opened up about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant implant procedure. Farrah said that once she got the procedure done, she knew right away that something wasn't right when the anesthesia wasn't working for her. She didn't do much about it, but looking back, maybe she should have. After the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things took a turn for the worse. Turns out Farrah had a really intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy pictures. Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that this was a really scary experience for her. At number 5, Yolanda Hadid. A lot of people have come out in the past saying that some plastic surgery procedures that they've received have caused some pretty serious side effects, and it seems like Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Yolanda Hadid has been dealing with similar issues. In the past, Yolanda has been pretty open about her Lyme disease diagnosis, and she's also talked about how the implants, fillers, and Botox that she's had had been causing her symptoms to worsen and how her illness would cause complications with these procedures. In 2015, Yolanda made the decision to have her implants removed after it was discovered that one of them had popped and was actually leaking silicone into her chest cavity. Later on, the reality star also made the decision to have her fillers dissolved as well. When explaining her decision to reverse the cosmetic procedures she had received over the years, she took to her Instagram where she went on to caption a selfie saying, quote, living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox, extensions, and all the stuff I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society believed to be was what a sexy woman should look like until the toxicity of it all almost killed me." End quote. And finally at number 1, Priscilla Presley. This is by far the worst plastic surgery story out there. Priscilla Presley, the wife of the late Elvis Presley, suffered through a plastic surgery nightmare when she went in to receive injectables from a very unreliable source. Priscilla had begun dabbling in plastic surgery, undergoing a few procedures such as injections and facelifts, but when she fell victim to an unlicensed cosmetic surgeon, that's when things got really, really bad. This unlicensed professional gave Priscilla injections in her cheeks and used products and techniques that were unapproved. To make matters worse, it turns out that the silicone that this so-called doctor used on Priscilla was not medical grade and was instead a substance similar to that which mechanics use for car parts. Thankfully, Priscilla got justice against this doctor, and the individual who performed these procedures got jail time, but sadly, Priscilla as well as a handful of other people were left as botched victims of this mad doctor. At number 10, Amanda Lepore. American model and socialite Amanda Lepore is one person who isn't shy at all about the plastic surgery procedures that she has had and how much she's changed with each surgery. The transgender model, performer, and now author, who made a name for herself in Hollywood by just being herself, altered a lot of her body body over the years, and she's even claimed to have the most expensive body on earth due to all of her surgeries. She's written and talked about all of the procedures that she's had done, and because it is such a long list, you can see how her looks have evolved so much over
over the years. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip, and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones, and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. She even got botched ones when she got silicone lip injections because she got too much filler and her lips got way too big for her liking and she looked so different. Because she said that she got them done about 20 times and went a little overboard, she had to get them reduced because they just got way too big. She's happy with the way that she looks and she likes to evolve her appearance, so I love that for her. I really do. In at number 9, Jessica Simpson. Throughout her career, Jessica Simpson has changed a lot, at some points looking unrecognizable from her former self. Many credited the change in her appearance to simple weight gain, while others speculated she got cosmetic work done. Well, she just exposed the truth on Instagram, revealing that she was suffering with alcoholism that caused a dramatic change in her appearance. In the long caption, she describes how she looked unrecognizable during her battle with alcoholism. In the photo, her face looks incredibly puffy and inflamed. She explained the photo was from 2017 at the height of her addiction. She said in part, quote, This person in the early morning of November 1st is an unrecognizable version of myself. I had so much self-discovery to unlock and explore. Jessica also admitted in her 2020 memoir called Open Book that she had two tummy tucks in 2015 to get rid of loose skin from back-to-back -back pregnancies. She got an infection after the second procedure and was in the hospital for nine days to recover. At number eight, Farrah Abraham. Teen Mom star Farrah Abraham has been pretty open about her cosmetic procedures and has been under the knife a number of times, but it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, where she looks nothing like herself. But let me tell you how she got in that mess in the first place. In 2015, the reality star opened up in an interview where she spoke out about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that when she got the procedure done, she knew right away that something wasn't right when the anesthesia wasn't working for her. She didn't think too much of it at the time, but as it would turn out, she should have said something to the doctor sooner. After the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things went from bad to worse. Turns out, Farrah had a really intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy photos. Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that it was a really scary experience for her and she thought that she would never look like herself again. In at number 7, Christina Aguilera. In 2018, Christina stepped out with an entirely new appearance, which got fans talking. Her face looked very puffy and swollen, possibly from getting too much filler. Surgeons and fans had tons of reactions to her new look. One plastic surgeon said, quote, Christina may have the appearance of fuller cheeks due to increased volume from fillers such as Voluma or Restylane. Another said, I believe that Christina's puffiness can be attributed to overfilled facial fillers like Belly Fill or Voluma. She probably tried to fill out any wrinkles and give her face some youthful fullness. Her lips are also fuller, most likely from lip fillers. In 2015, it was also reported that Christina got a nose job. One surgeon said that he believes her doctor used cartilage to rebuild her nose after her first nose job was botched. At number six, Justin Judlica. Justin Judlica, also known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he was on the show Botched and became a fan favorite, so obviously I had to include him in this list. Justin became famous because of his exaggerated looks, because he made it his life's mission to become a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better. Obviously, Obviously, Justin wasn't born looking the way he does now, and if you look at old pictures of him, you can really see how drastically different he looks. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received about a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of stopping his transformation anytime soon. Justin said that he became obsessed with his appearance after growing up watching the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and recalling that everyone on that show had plastic surgery. To him, he believed that this lifestyle meant that you were successful, and so he's made it his mission to look like an unrecognized plastic doll. Halfway at number 5, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson first gained fame through the Jackson 5 as a child, and as he grew up, he started to look unrecognizable from his child self. At some point, his appearance changed so much, it was clear that he was undergoing plastic surgery. Much of it was deemed botched by the general public. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs, as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claimed to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. 
When asked about his nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helps me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. However, many plastic surgeons speculate he had far more than two nose jobs and that he developed nasal cripples due to the lack of tissue to breathe through. At number four, Jamie Lee Curtis. You wouldn't really guess it, but at one point, Jamie Lee Curtis got plastic surgery and she ended up looking a little unrecognizable. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking a little puffy. Well, it turns out that she got a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face looked so different. Jamie recalled feeling super embarrassed because she had just changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, it quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. And at number three, Ariel Winter. Ariel gained notoriety as a teen star acting on Modern Family. Since leaving the show, her look has gotten incredibly mature, and many think this isn't solely from genetics. On one Instagram post, fans were calling out Ariel for changing, saying that they liked how she looked before plastic surgery. Ariel was so offended by the comment that she actually.